Known to fans from Whose Line Is It Anyway, comedians Colin Mockery and Brad Sherwood are taking the improv on the road for their 20th anniversary tour called Scared Scriptless. What's up, Colin? Not much. Just hanging around, you know. Let's talk about the 20th anniversary of this tour. First of all, the name makes sense for you guys, Scared Scriptless. Mm -hmm. Are you ever actually afraid, you've been doing this for so long, to get out there off the cuff with no script? Um, no, it's kind of, it's weirdly, it's the most relaxed I am in my life. I mean, there's never a point where we go out going, you know what? Tonight's going to be spectacular. I know exactly how it's going to, because you, you don't. And um, even with the combined, I guess, over 50 years of improv, we still, you know, every once in a while you hit a lull, but we we know what to do when we've hit that lull and how to sort of reset and keep it going. What about like voices and stuff? I always wondered with improvisers, because I know from doing it myself too, like do people from your family and people you know end up coming out in the moment with some of the voices and characters you do? Oh, absolutely. That's, I mean, the beauty of being an improviser is everything you have done in your life, every person you've met, every experience you've had is sort of there. Tell me about the partnership. I, I think when you're sharing scenes, obviously you guys are so good together, but you said there could be lulls. You must really trust each other and kind of know each other's tricks enough to really have a blast up there. Absolutely. I mean, it, you know, trust is such a big part of what we do, especially because it's just the two of us. And uh, well, we've been, I guess, working together 30 years now. What about um, the crowds? You know, people are excited to see live theater again, especially now. Have you sensed that being on the road again? Oh, absolutely. There is. Um, there's. At the beginning, there's a little bit of a, oh, okay, we're, we're with people. We're with people now. This is kind of odd. And then almost immediately, it's, yes, we're out. We're having fun. Um, and I think, you know, this pandemic really showed how important the arts are. Um, it made me realize what we do is kind of an essential um, service. Tell me real quick, because I am such a big Whose Line Is It Anyway fan, and I was telling you earlier, it was really introduced me to improv and comedy. What was that experience like for you guys to, you know, the people you met there and how it has shaped your career since? Oh, well, I mean, it, it gave me a career. Uh, you know, I'm doing a job that didn't exist when I was growing up, and it's all because of Whose Line. And, you know, uh, Ryan and I uh, grew up together, so I'd known him for years before we did Whose Line. All the guys now, we're all really close. Uh, we really enjoy each other. And I think uh, part of that is because, I mean, we do enjoy each other, but also the taping is like two weekends out of the year. So we're never spending enough time to get on each other's nerves. It's always uh, just fun. I was going to try one word expert. Maybe I could be your partner and we could be experts on something together and, right. and get to promoting the tour. How does that sound? Sounds good. Uh, so we're an expert on... Uh, balloons. All right. Okay. Um, Paul and Colin, uh, tell me, what would you say is the most famous balloon animal? The most famous balloon animal has to be the one that always expands and contracts in winter. Right. <laughs> oh, we did it. Hey, it was the first time I've ever done an improv game across the computer. Thank you, man. Well done. Well done. It felt like we were in the moment there, guys. We were there. We were there. I love it. Uh, you can catch Colin and Brad in Scared Scriptless on December 17th in Red Bank. For tickets and more info, head to colinandbradshow.com. It's so cool to meet you, man. Thanks for doing this. Oh, thanks so much for having me.